So this is an update on our old pool area. And we have a lot of beach sand here, so we didn't know what would happen. We planted some turnips and we planted some collards on the side and they drifted to the middle here. And then we also planted some broccoli and some cauliflower. So you can see we've got some sparse things happening and some smaller sprouts on the left because that area is a little bit drier. But there are still things growing in between. So what we did is we got some potting soil that turned out to look more like mulch. And I had one packet of squash left over from Jennifer's massive squash garden in the front. And she didn't like crooks, crookneck squash so much, but I bought a pack of 200 seeds. So we ended up with what, 19 hills? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, seventeen, twenty. 10, 14, 17, 20. Oh, I'm way off. 20, 29, right? Yeah, 29 hills. And we put around eight seeds in every hill of crookneck. So if the other sprouts start getting bigger on this side, they'll be in between the crookneck squash as they grow out. Um, but this is the humble beginnings of the secondary squash farm. And we're gonna have the most squash we've ever had before because she has 101 hills of all different kinds of squash, various pumpkins. And then in the back here, we're gonna have another 29 hills. So we might be overloaded more than our self and our tortoises can handle. And we're thinking we might be donating to food banks, but we'll see. There's our little fish in the pond. All right, so this is the lettuce and radish section with all of our leeks over here in all those holes. We got strawberries blooming right there too. Yesterday we harvested a whole bunch of radish and lettuce and had some salad, it was so good. And I'm gonna put some pictures here at the end of this. So this is the front yard um, pit that's got mescaline, green and purple lettuce. It's got um, turnips in it and it's got some kale in it. So it's a variety of greens in here. And they're starting to get pretty big, especially the lettuces. And then the massive squash slash pumpkin pit up here, all but five hills have sprouted. Now that's my wife's pumpkin slash squash garden. This is the biggest ever that anybody over here has done. So, I'm not taking credit for that, although I helped her with it, but this is her mastermind here. I just wanted to show you. So this is the one of two very large flower pits. And you can see I'm getting a lot of wildflowers in there. I'm not gonna zoom in, but you can see it's a lot of greens in there. These are different kinds over here. They're not um, as many, but they're bigger. So that's why they're sparse as much as the other side they're more sparse same thing here there's different kinds in here it looks like an animal <coughs> george be quiet looks like an animal ran across this something last night um it looks like these wildflowers over here are starting to lighten up a little bit and then that patch is really going crazy there's a lot of sprouts in that patch then I'm going to show you what we did yesterday. Hello, George. This is our newest flower patch. That's where we buried our cat Foster. So there's three types of wildflowers in this patch. Yes, hi, hi George. And we outlined it with our decorative rocks. Let's go to the other side. We picked one of our purple lettuce yesterday. This is loaded with um, turnips. And I think that was it, the lettuce and the turnips. These are volunteered lettuce. These collars are getting big. The kale is pretty much the same, purple and green. And then the lettuce over here, red, green mescaline. And the end, for some reason, has a lot more than the other part. But nonetheless, this is going to give us a lot of lettuce. 